This Weird Normal by Asif Khan Part 1. A Wicked Idea 5th of June 2020 Is it recording? Yes, mate. I, I can't see the red light. It's on you, Div. Go. Okay. Hello there. My name's... Oh, wow. Let's start again. Still rolling. Hello, people. My name's Hakima Bass, and I'm from beautiful Croydon. Behind me uh, is where Drama Cell, the theatre group I'm a part of, me and rehearse. Well, we did before lockdown. <laughs> we were devising a piece titled Mashed Up London, <laughs> a verbatim piece made from interviews with young people in London. It was due to premiere at... What's the, it about? Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me do that bit again. Um, a verbatim piece made from interviews with young people in London about lots of important issues um, like the housing situation, living wage, mental health, race, all of that. Things that are in the minds of young Londoners today. Things you won't hear discussed on the news, no way, not from our perspective anyway. We interviewed young people from North, South, East and West, different ethnicities, different backgrounds, and what we collected is a unique, urgent, authentic, sometimes shocking actually, <laughs> sometimes sad, uh, eye-opening, and also very funny range of voices. Mashed Up London was... Now move on to the fringe, yeah? Yeah, I was, I was literally about to do that, bro. Oh, so, so. Um, Mashed Up London was due to premiere at the Edinburgh Fringe this summer. But as, but as you're probably aware, due to COVID-19, the whole festival was cancelled. Now, financially, a lot of businesses are suffering, and the arts are no different. And in fact, worse off, because we're at the bottom of the priority list. We'll be the last people the government will help. Do you know, so far, the word theatre has not even been mentioned. So we had uh, an application filled out, ready to send to um, Arts Council England. Yeah, right before lockdown. And in the end, never even had a chance to apply for the grant we needed. What do we need funding for? OK, uh, for costumes, the set, props, expenses, marketing. And in an ideal world, we'd all receive the minimum equity wage too. But in the circumstances, we understand that essentially we'll be working for free. We're determined to get this piece on and share it with you. And just need some cash to get things moving again. So we've set up a fundraising page. Any donations. Big or small will be so helpful. You'll find the link in the description box below. Yo, this show means so much to us. And we'll be heading, in a socially distanced way, to a venue or outdoor space or somewhere near you. So stay tuned and stay safe. Twitter? Yes, 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 yes. yes. You can follow us on Twitter at DramaCell, hashtag mashed up London. Thank you so much. Stay tuned, stay safe. Nice one. How was that? Shall I do it again? Nah, you got everything in. I can edit things together. Maybe I could have said a bit more about our group and the production. It's fine, mate. Seriously. You got that likeable vibe going on. Like an over-enthusiastic puppy on drugs. Uh, it's all good. <laughs> Not sure how to take that, bro. Look, I still think we should do a film version. Like, use the money for that. <sighs> It won't have the same effect. Theatre is dead, mate. At least for a while. It depends on people coming together, gathering, not compatible with social distancing. So we need to film it, film the piece, or, or, or stream it. That's the future now. Online, YouTube, Vimeo, social media. I've told you guys, but you won't listen. <sighs> We've not said it's a bad idea. We just don't want to close the door yet on doing it live. So how are you going to present the show? The audience? Staying two metres apart? Well, that's what the zoo means about. Yeah, we'll see. We're going to prove you wrong, mate. I'm going to prove you wrong. Listen, I hope you do. Now help me pack. Got to get back to Holly quick time. What about the other shots? Of the city? Uh, we'll do that later on. Uh, this afternoon? Right. Can you do this afternoon? Yep. Nice one. So what place you got you doing today then? Some Jacobean shit. But she's got a last minute self tape and she's panicking, so I gotta help her with that. Wish I had a self tape. Uh, you can help her if you like. 
And I wish I was in lockdown with a girlfriend like you are. Count yourself lucky, Morgan. You have any idea how horny I am? I do not wish to know, mate. Right, meet you later outside the main entrance to Whitgift Shopping Centre. Does that work? Yeah, yeah, what time? 2 p.m.? Shelley, how's it going? Not bad, just, you know, trying to... Great relax. stuff. Listen, I've just come up with a wicked idea. What? <laughs> well, I was picking up some things from the local, and everybody was, like, two metres apart. There were these visual markings, arrows, on the floor. So I thought, why not do that? Sorry, what? Do a thing like where the audience stays two metres apart from each other and walk through a space and watch the performance in snippets, bit by bit, and then move further along the trail and repeat and repeat like that with the rest of the piece. Sorry, Hakeem, I didn't quite catch that. Can we save it for the Zoom meeting? Yeah, yeah, I'll bring it up then. But what do you think? I'm sure my mum will let us use the carpet showroom. It's virtually empty anyway. Closed, no customers. What do you think? Shall I ask her? Yeah, yeah, why don't you ask her and we can talk more soon, yeah? Nice one, Shells. Feeling very positive about the whole thing, you know? Great. The filming went brilliantly, by the way. In the bag, Morgan was pleased. A few more shots to do this afternoon, but hopefully we can get that up online later. Get the cash rolling in. Well done, Hakeem. Speak later, yeah? Yeah, yeah, later. Place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. Begin to feel the chest rise and fall. Oh, come on. Who the hell is... Hi, Shelley. Hal. Hi. Picked you up some more stuff? Oh, you didn't have to do that. I managed to get an online shopping slot. Oh, no problem. I need to get back into shape, so I was out for a jog anyway. It killed me. So unfit, but... On the way back, popped into Sainsbury's and I found some vegan quick meals. Ooh. They look good. Don't they? Knew it'd be right up your street. Ooh, vegan show on my chicken. Vegan beef burritos. Oh, there was an offer on as well, so I grabbed a few. Oh, babe, that's really kind. How much do I owe you? Oh, listen, no worries. It's on me. No way. Oh, it's on me. Full stop, OK? You're too kind. How are you feeling, anyway? Better? A little bit. Just trying to stay active. Bit of yoga, meditation, various things around the house that keep me sane. Yeah. Just keep busy. Stay busy. Write a quick list of things you want to do every day. And it doesn't have to be big things or important things. It can be, I'm just going to go for a run, or I'm going to watch this programme I've wanted to watch for ages. Just helps if you've got something written down. You're right, I'll try that. Plus, switch off from work-related things. Just do things that make you happy. I was trying to before Hakeem called. Oh, no. Don't answer his call. You know you can never get off the phone with that guy. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. <laughs> Just text. Stick to a quick text. And if you want to talk anytime, call me. Or Zoom me. We can do a coffee over Zoom. Sounds lovely. Well, we've got through the worst of it now, hopefully. So soon we can have a proper get-together. Not Zoom. In person. <laughs> oh, cannot wait for that day. <laughs> we've done really well. I can imagine how hard it'd be going through lockdown alone. It's been tough for everyone. I've got Susie, at least. And Rizwan. My Uncle Dave's not far away. You haven't even got family in the UK. How is he, by the way? Rizwan? Yeah. Just... Riz? 
You know, he's the only one who's not responded to the Zoom invite. Oh, you know what he's like. He's at my place anyway, so he'll be there. If I can get him off the couch, that is. He's been glued to it for three weeks. Stinks of riz eau de toilette. Mm, lovely. I'm going to have to have a deep clean. Good luck with that. <laughs> I'd give you a hug if I could. I stink too. Not a good idea anyway. Fine. You've put me off. Cow? <laughs> Remember, call me. Anytime. Assalamu alaikum, ma'am. Mm, wa alaikum salam. I need to ask you something. I came up with a wicked idea. Did you post those leaflets out? Uh, no. No, I'll... No, you didn't. Because they're sat where you left them. Uh, I'll do it later, Mum. Sorry, okay. I just have a few things on. You have a few things on every day. Will they be still sat there again tomorrow? No. Huh? I'll post them out later. Promise. What about the website? I haven't got round to that yet. You haven't even made a start. No. Are you fully comprehending the strain we're under, Hakim? Yes, of course, ma'am. If we're not careful, the whole business is going to collapse. Does that not concern you? What? Oh, come on, ma'am, chill. The family business which your father and I built, alhamdulillah, from nothing. <sighs> The family business which has supported you and your sister your whole life. Ah, uh, Mum, please, just calm down. I said I'd do it. It can't just happen, like, the second you ask. It needs to happen the second I ask. It needs to happen now. How are we supposed to get any sales if we don't have an online setup? Oh, my God. That's the only way to stop us losing everything. Hey, I'd do it myself if I knew how to even turn a computer on. Oh, Mum. I need you to take charge. Okay. Take responsibility. Make it a priority. Mum, I understand. I can't look after your sister, help her with her schoolwork, clean both your clothes, and take uh, care of the business. Okay, okay, Mum. Leave it with me. I'll do it. I promise. Hey! Here. <laughs> Let me finish the washing up. You go and rest. Hmm. We're 1,500 kilometers from the surface of Mars. The final two parachutes have been released. Hold on tight, everyone. It's gonna be a rocky landing. Yes! Again, my accent was shit. Oh, come on, Holly. Oh, just one more go. It was shit, Morgan. Fine. Rolling. We're 1,500 kilometers from the surface of Mars. The final two parachutes have been released. Hold on tight, everyone. It's going to be a rocky landing. Yes, that was... One more time, one more time. No, no, you've done it so many different ways. Honestly, honestly, it's fine. you got loads to choose from. And that last take, I think, was the best one. Definitely. You sure? Yeah. Why? What do you mean, why? It was the best one. The best the take. Why specifically? Be uh, because it was the one, I thought, where you were most panicked about landing on Mars and... Uh, what about my American accent? Oh, it was supposed to be American. Yeah. <sighs> Joking, Holly. It was perfectly fine. If it was crap, just tell me. If it was crap, I'd say so. Just be honest. I'm going to pack up. Look, otherwise, this is going to go on forever. Oh, I'm not sure why this is a chore for you. I get this job and we don't need to worry about the rent for a good while. It's going to benefit both of us. Holly, I'm being honest. The last take was great. And so were many before that. OK. Good. The casting director needs it by 6pm. Don't worry. I'll edit it all together nicely, just the way you like it, and we transfer it over. Anything else you want from your servant? Cheese on toast with a bit of pesto on it. Yes, your majesty. <laughs> and make sure it's a lot of cheese. Coming right up. <laughs> then we can make a start on the Revengers tragedy. I thought we weren't doing that today because of the self-tape. Mm, I never said we were cancelling play a day. Come on, Holly. I I've got to meet up with Hakeem now to get some shots. Of what? 
You did that this morning. That was Hakeem's piece to camera. We didn't get to do the general shots of Croydon because I had to rush back here to help you. Oh, we can't cancel play a day, Morgan. You know what will happen next? We'll cancel another day as well because we've got something else on and then another day and then another I day. I need those shots, Holly, so we can edit things together properly. Cancel once and it's a downward spiral. And get the fundraising page up tonight. That's important too, right? Well, do it after play a day. I need to go. I already told Akeem I'm going to meet him, all right? When I get back, I'll get your self-tape sent off and then, if I feel like it, we can do play a day. <sighs> feel like it. Yes! Ooh, great footage in the bag. All right, check the list. <laughs> All right, uh, Whitgift, George Street, Croydon Library, Central, West Croydon Station, Croydon Flyover. <laughs> yeah, we got all of that. Nice one. Bro, we're a good team. I think we are, mate. <sighs> Feels like a different place, doesn't it? What? Croydon, this empty. Uh, yeah. Somewhere quieter. Posher. It's like, like Chiswick. <laughs> what? If it was Chiswick, you'd never see people like me. Right, I'm gonna edit this all together tonight, all right? Well, after your evening of classical text. Oh, after that, yeah. <laughs> Lucky man. So did you tell Shelley about your wicked idea? Uh, yeah. Called her earlier. I think she was more excited than me, bro. Said to bring up at the next Zoom meeting. Right. See, I told you I'd think of a solution. And what about the showroom? What, what about it? Well, have you confirmed it with your mum? Yeah. Asked her earlier. I mean, she was in a foul mood when I got back. So at first I thought, just save it for another day. Do you know what I mean? But after washing a few dishes here and there, <laughs> that sweetened her right up. Oh, wait, um... What? We should get Box Park, right? Damn, yeah! Yeah, we definitely need a clip of Box Park. And East Croydon Station. Might as well. Right, um, let's head over. You haven't got to rush off, have you? It, nah. No rush. Assalamu alaikum, Mum. You know, I was thinking about your father. Yeah? I was thinking about him. Do you remember the time the mosque was about to close down because of the leaking roof? Mm hmm right. And how he wouldn't sit still or even eat until he found a way to raise enough funds to help. Yeah. And within a matter of days, he had the whole community behind him even non-Muslims, and he managed to raise over 15,000. Why are you telling me this, Mum? That is an example of a man. What? And I'm not? Is that what you're saying? <gasps> you tell me. Are you like him? Have you done any of what I've asked you to do? I've been out all day. Yes, I can see. Lots of important things. I haven't just been chilling out, you know. Ugh, I'll grab the leaflets and go out now, then. No, don't. Tomorrow morning, I'll post the leaflets no, myself. No, you won't. I said I'll do it. I refuse to beg for a helping hand anymore. No, I'll do it myself. Oh, for God's sake, I said I'll do it, OK? Right now, I'll, I'll post out all your damn leaflets. Right now. <laughs> Get over and done with. Get off my back. In This Weird Normal, A Wicked Idea by Asif Khan, Shelley was played by Sophie Kleiman, Morgan by Omar Bynan, Holly by Rachel Barnwell, Pearl by Mally O'Donnell, Hakim by Caleb Obadiah, and Aisha by Finlola Oluthunwa. Sound design and recording by Kathy Dixon, sound mix by Adam Woodhams. This was recorded by Rada Sound Specialists. The assistant director was Anita Gander, the director was Jeremy Mortimer, and the executive producer was Pamela Jakimi. This Weird Normal, an original idea by Asif Khan, was developed with Stella Camel and Susan Wakoma, and is a Rada audio production. <laughs>